helping you grow towards a healthier and happier you. Hey everybody. So today I'm going to tell you about all the zero waste swaps I've made so far on my own zero waste journey. So the first thing is not buying plastic water bottles. Just get a, you know, reusable metal is best, but if you, like a canteen, if you can't get metal, if you already have a plastic water bottle, like a reusable one, just use that. Use whatever you have. Um, this is by the company Hydro Flask. I really love this because it stays cold for like 24 hours or something or hot for 24 hours. Um, similarly, also get a reusable coffee mug or use your thermos that you have for cold drinks. Um, I like having two, so if I can have water and just tea or coffee or whatever. But um, again, this is by Hydro Flask. It stays cold for a while. Easy switch. Another super easy switch is just getting reusable shopping bags. So I have two here. They are made of plastic, but I already had them for one zero way, so it's better to use what you already have. And I have, a, I think I have another third one somewhere, but I just both keep these in my car and bring them out whenever I'm shopping for anything, whether it's food or non-food items, like clothes. I just always have some of these on me. Another switch is not using tissues. And some people find this kind of disgusting. I honestly, like, I've gotten pretty used to it. I, um, so I had this jar right here, and I made this basically with my tissue box. Um, I have in here some different things. I have some hang handkerchiefs my dad gave me that he never used. Um, I have also some really nice, like, lace handkerchiefs my mom gave me. Um, and basically I just keep them all in here like it's a tissue box so I can just grab one out whenever I need it. Um, but the great thing about this is that as long as you have, if you don't have handkerchiefs, it's totally fine. You can either buy some, or it's even better, is you, if you have any type of clothing that's old and not really wearing it and it's pretty soft, you can just cut it up and make your own little tissues. So this, for instance, is some old, like, um, I think it was uh, sleepwear shorts that, like, ripped and I couldn't wear them anymore. So I just cut them up in little squares and I just toss them in here. And then whenever you use it, just take one out, use it, and throw it right in the wash. So it's not like you want to reuse it or anything. If you have enough, it works easily that way. Another swap I've made is not using paper towels. And so instead of using paper towels for like cleaning or for napkins or whatever, I just got, or some of these I already had, some of these I bought, um, a bunch of, what are these, like rags, I guess. Um, they're just small, little squares. Yeah, they have a lot of stains on them, but like, that's the point because they're for cleaning. Um, and then I also stopped using chemical heavy cleaners and made my own. This is, I'm not sure the exact recipe is, but it's a mix of vinegar, water, and um, castor oil, or like Dr. Bronner soap. I don't know what that's called, like cast something. Anyway, I can make a video with the recipe, but basically it's just an all purpose cleaner. Pretty much used on whatever, used on like tabletops, mirror, anything. Um, probably not wood, I don't know about that, but. It's awesome. And the, honestly, like a lot of cleaning is just the motion of, you know, wiping something. It's not necessarily the harsh chemicals you use in the cleaning product. While this is a plastic water bottle and plastic is one of the worst things you can use, um, we already had this, so I just put all the ingredients in here to use. But you could even, if you have an empty, like old, uh, like Lysol or just any kind of like 409 cleaner, you could probably just empty that out or clean it a little bit and then put your new all natural cleaner in it to have the spray bottle effect. Next change I've made is using a good deodorant. I mean, not deodorant, <laughs> laundry detergent. Um, so this is by Seventh Generation. It comes in a paper box, so that's great. It feels a little plasticky, so I'm a little worried about that. But anyway, it um, it's just a powder. So I've actually put, and this is a huge box, I put whatever I need in this little thing, and I just, this little glass bottle, and I just take this to the, um, when I do my laundry. And it's just really simple. It's scentless, which I really like, and just really simple and easy to use. And it isn't any harsh chemicals, so it's fine for your clothing and your skin, if you have sensitive skin or whatever, and it's great. I do really wanna try those like dried berries that you can put in a little cotton uh, cloth bag in the wash. Haven't gotten those yet, but hopefully after I finish this big boy, that's what I'm gonna use. One of the things I changed to, is instead of using typical, traditional, you know, heavy chemical, um, rich moisturizers, I searched for coconut oil, and it's a little weird to get used to because it feels obviously really oily, but it's really light in your skin and it really helped clear my skin up. So I would highly recommend this as a facial moisturizer, but also just as an overall body moisturizer. Really cheap, you can reuse the glass jar after, to your waist, good. So next things are two things I've made. I will make recipe videos for these, but um, I, I've made my own deodorant and dry shampoo. Um, just really simple. I put them in glass jars I already had using ingredients I already had in my cabinet in my pantry. 
and easy. The next change is using shampoo and conditioner bars. So I got these from Lush, as you can probably tell. Um, this one is shampoo. I haven't actually used these yet because I'm still finishing up my shampoo and conditioner in like my, you know, traditional plastic container. But once I do, I'm gonna use these. And they smell, they're vegan, they smell amazing. Um, Lush is a really great company. They have a lot of vegan stuff, it's all labeled in their store. Oh, this is an avocado conditioner, it's so good. So I cannot wait to start using these, but I've heard really good things about shampoo conditioner bars. Obviously zero waste. And so I bought these tins the first time I went and bought these, but next time I'm going to take the tins back and then just reuse them every time. So next thing is silverware. So if you, I feel like when we go out and you get food, there's always plastic silverware, which obviously is not good. So if you buy a little, this is in the uh, to go brand, to go, no, to go wear brand. There we go. Um, it's just a little wooden, I think like maybe bamboo. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, it is bamboo. Utensil set, um, really cheap. It's on Amazon. I love these. And also kind of going along with that is using, if you like to use straws a lot, don't use, you know, throw out a, a um, like plastic straws you throw out, use reusable straws. This actually is plastic, but I had these since before I went zero waste, so I've just kept using them. But I would either recommend bamboo or stainless steel straws. Bamboo toothbrush. Um, this one actually isn't the best because the bristles are made of plastic. But there are ones that have, I don't know, some um, decomposable bristles as well as the bamboo toothbrush. So, uh, but again, you can find these on Amazon, pretty cheap, you come in packs of like four, so it's really affordable. Next is, instead of using tea bags, you use a loose leaf tea, and then if you get one of these little loose leaf tea holders, um, and they have these I feel like everywhere, all like fun different shapes and everything, but just really simple to use, <laughs> if I can close it. Okay, there we go. Real simple to use. Um, and you just put tea leaf in here, put in your tea, take it out, easy. I'm actually, I haven't used this that much because I am I have some loose leaf tea, but I'm still finishing up my tea bags first. But after that, I'm only gonna use loose leaf tea. Probably from like Teabana or something. Another product, probably the last, yes, the last, uh, the last <laughs> is a menstrual cup. So, once again, another product. I haven't really used this that much. Um, I would highly, I think, Sessa, I know some people use these, love them, highly, would highly recommend. I would say, you know, certainly try it. It just, I haven't found it the most easiest thing to use. So, I'm actually going to try using reusable pads. Um, just bought, like, cloth pads I can buy off Amazon. And hopefully I like that more. I just don't, I'm not a huge fan of tampons, so, like, this isn't the best thing for me. But... It, what, what is amazing about this though is that's made of silicone. It's pretty big. You can uh, wear it for 12 hours without changing it, so it makes it really convenient. You're not having to like like your tampon needs to change at least two or three times, maybe four times a day. This is only twice a day. Um, it's just really convenient, so also highly recommend. But I'll make a video just on zero waste periods later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Also, if you have any other ideas or any other tips and tricks for me on going zero waste, I would love to hear any of that. Put it down below and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay sustainable and stay happy. Bye. Oh, this is... Hey! I'm making a video. Is that your video? Um, it depends how I can edit it. We'll see. Uh, Probably not. <laughs>